This is a Mark II Golf and today I'm going to show you a driveway hack to painting your brake calipers. My paint of choice is Raptor's high heat caliper enamel, but more on them later because first I got to move this Golf out of his way. Now it's here, I've got to take the wheels off. Don't just stand there, help me. It's so heavy. Now that the car is on jacks, I can begin the driveway hack by taking off the wheels. Honestly, not even that bad. <laughs> Quick update, the weather decided to say no and now everything is adequately moisturized. Anyway, onto my paint of choice. This is Raptor Caliper Enamel, part of their new high heat line. Some perks of using this paint and not any others is it's five times tougher than any ordinary paint, able to resist heat up to 500 degrees. Y'all, that's 932 degrees Fahrenheit for y'all VW life boys up in Texas and the other Americans out there. It's also very easy to use, which is great for pros and average Joes like me just looking to do some driveway upgrades. Anyway, onto the first step, clean and degrease. Thirty-nine years and counting, these rear drums have seen it all. Even a dinosaur extinction. Ugh. Normally for step two, you should get P180 sandpaper and sand them down. But because of the condition of these brakes and drums, and this is a driveway hack, I'm going to be taking drastic measures. Now that the calipers have been cleansed of 30 years of rust, we clean them once more time and then sand them down again with P180 pads. And then once more for the last time, degrease them. Coming up on the last part of the process, I'm going to mask up the areas and get ready for some spraying. Prep is finished, now onto the fun stuff, the spraying. But first, got to shake it for two minutes. Quick update, the weather has disagreed with my previous statement and it is now raining again. Well, that's okay because it gives me enough time to tell you about the caliper enamel. Five times tougher than ordinary paint and resists heat up to 500 degrees Celsius. Extending the life of your brake calipers, being able to protect them from impact, heat, brake dust, automotive fluid and corrosion. At the same time being so easy to use, even I can do it. This is because high heat caliper enamel is self priming. Now that the UK weather is finished with its second moisturizing session, I can get to spraying. Dry off the brake discs, can't forget PPE, gloves, goggles, and a respirator. Give the primer another good shake for two minutes and then begin spraying. Make sure to keep 15 to 25 centimeters away, trying to spray an even coat throughout the whole caliper. That's it. I'm taking an eight minute break. Just kidding, after spraying the first coat, you should wait five to 10 minutes before spraying the second. Gabe, huh? it's been 10 minutes, spray the second coat. Okay. If you couldn't tell, it started raining again. So before spraying the second coat, I let the rain clear out and dry up. Once again, 15 to 25 centimeters away, aiming for an even spray. Now that both calipers have been sprayed with a second coat, we wait about half an hour so that it can dry, then we can take off the masking and put back on the wheels. And with Raptor being so simple and easy to use, to clean the nozzle, simply put it upside down and then spray until only propellant sprays. Just like that. 
After 30 minutes, the paint is touched dry and now I can remove the masking. Look at that. Now all there is to do is put back on the wheels. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a Bosch job done. Perfect timing, because it's starting to rain again. So there you have it, respraying brake calipers with Raptor's high heat caliper enamel. If you have any questions about Raptor's caliper enamel, let us know in the comments and we will answer your burning questions. Thank you very much for watching, and with that, SHC is out.